Alright gang, welcome back to our playthrough on Mazo, or Maz, Mazo, however you want to say it, uh, for short of the actual name. Um, we got our coal factory, man. We got our charcoal factory. I'm super excited about it. Um, it does have a shed here, so I think we could probably put the gator in here, protect it a little bit. Uh, but I decided to put it right here. We're going to keep this here for now because we can sell the charcoal here. Uh, maybe we'll change it and upgrade it later on, but that's what we're going to do for now. Uh, but I really like it, man. I'm so excited about it being here. It's super easy to access to our main little road here, our little track road. Yeah, it's it's going to be great. I can't wait to start making some charcoal. So, without further ado, you can see it's still the same day. I just decided to do... Um, to keep it the same day for a little while. It's starting to get darker, so uh, we won't have whole much... Whole much... <sighs> Talk straight, Z. We won't have a whole bunch more time on day one. But uh, we do have some. You can see I did get rid of a lot more trees, though. Uh, that was to be able to buy that. So we spent a good amount of money on that. We don't have a whole lot of money to our name as it is. We still need to drill that field up there as well. A lot of things to do today. I don't know how fast um, charcoal is. I, I have no clue how fast it'll be to get a, a packet of charcoal. But I'm hoping it's relatively quick. They do sell for a really good price. I mean, a really good price. Um... So I guess it just depends. I don't know how much we'll get out of one spruce tree either. Uh, spruce trees are pretty big, so who knows. Um, it will be probably kind of difficult to get to it, so I probably should have turned it the other way, honestly. But uh, my, initial, my, my initial thought of doing it that way is because I figure we're going to get another fan of land of... Uh, land of... We're going to get another plot of tree of trees at some point here in the near future, right? And they'll probably be the one across from us. So I just felt like that made the most sense, but in hindsight, I probably should have turned it the other way for now. But that's all right. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we're not going to do a whole lot of trees today. Like I told you, I'm not going to bore you with that, but I do want to at least get a tree or two into the charcoal uh, on camera with you so you can see it. Um, and then the rest of it I can do off camera. We will need to sell a few more trees, likely today, depending on how long it takes for the uh, charcoal to be ready. Um, because we got to get uh, a drill, or at least lease a drill, at a minimum. Uh, we have to buy seed, fertilizer, we got to buy all kinds of stuff. The normal stuff we would you would require, we've got to buy all that. So, uh, we're not out of the woods yet, let's put it that way. So let's see if we can whip this around here or not. Hopefully we can. And hopefully this is an implement, kind of like our selling point there, where it doesn't matter how much is on it, it's going to take the whole thing. But I guess we'll have to find out, won't we? All I know is this tree is heavy. And this tree right here might be partially in the way for us, but uh, hopefully it'll, it'll be okay. Alright, so the point should be somewhere in here. 8,318 liters of, of wood are in there now. Uh, that's a lot. I mean, it doesn't take that much. You can see it's already probably a little less than one-third full, right? Or maybe one-fourth full. I guess it should really be one-fourth full. Something like that, but we'll see. It looks like it's going to churn through it pretty quickly. It's already got three liters of charcoal going, so... Uh, let's get another probably two big trees, maybe three smaller trees in there. Let's get it maxed out. And that way we're going to make some charcoal as we kind of carry on our way here. Uh, we probably will have to sell one other big tree. Um, like I said, just to be able to fund some other things we have to accomplish today. Uh, Got to look at drills. I don't know what drill I want to get. I'm probably going to get a very small drill at this point. Uh, most of these fields are small anyway. Um, normally I've been using, as everybody else uses, I've been using the uh, John Deere or the Case I forget what the actual number of it is, but it's older, uh, direct drill. It's like six meters, I think, of width. I don't know if we'll use that one in this episode or not. We probably, oh, this episode, I mean, this, this series. We probably honestly will, though. Um, it, it's just the best one out there for the cheapest price. But if we can find another one out there for cheaper, and it's not, you know, it's like four or five meters, something like that, I think makes more sense for this series because of the size of the fields. Uh, maybe it won't once we start expanding the fields, but I think you get what I mean. Um, 
This winch, though, has been the best thing we've done. Except for the, the first trip selling them. That was a disaster. Otherwise, this has been, uh, this has been great. What we may end up having to do, well, we, I'm sure we will eventually once we start, you know, working and building our yard a little more. Um, we'll have to uh, probably move our sell point here because I kind of just spammed it down. I really didn't know where I was going to put it or why I put it there. I literally just put it there because we had so many trees and we needed to get some of these sold. Uh, but once we start getting a better idea of what our yard's going to look like, we'll, we'll probably have to move some things around. I don't think I'll move the charcoal. Uh, kiln around, but uh, the rest of the stuff, yeah, we'll, we'll likely move, right? Come on. Okay, well. Alright, I think we can unwinch it and I can probably push it the rest of the way here. Fourteen thousand liters of wood now. We're halfway there. Let's do one more tree, only one more. And then we're gonna call it. I think... Even though I said I wasn't really planning on getting rid of this tree, I think we're going to get rid of this tree. Um, it's kind of in the way for where I put the charcoal at. We still have these three over here. So I think we'll get rid of this one. And this is a big tree too, so this is going to make it uh, completely full probably in that charcoal kiln. And then once that's done, I'll go off camera real quick. I'll sell another two or three trees. Um, get us some money and uh, find us some kind of drill that we can put in or we can lease at least if not buy at a minimum uh, so we can actually plant our field we still have a lot of trees to cut down it may look like we don't but we have a ton of left of trees left on the, on the field here uh, we'll probably actually drill the field in uh, day two of October but if we go into the best I can do for bird's eye view you can see there's a big patch here that I cut out but we have all of these all the way down here. It's a bunch, right? And we really have just barely skimmed the surface over here, which I said I wanted to do, right? I wanted to expand this out, uh, extend the field if we could. So, uh, yeah. It, it's very sparse there in the middle, which is kind of where the flattest land is, but all the other parts of the land we have yet to touch. So uh, we have more trees that we can uh, we can get rid of. Man, I'm so excited about that charcoal kiln, man. I hope I hope we get a lot of charcoal out of it. Because it's a thousand charcoal or a thousand. A thousand dollars per one uh one thousand liters of charcoal on average. And that's a lot. If it's giving us that much wood in there, I mean that's a lot. Alright. Let's just push this the rest of the way here. Lower this down. Push it into place. Perfect. 22,996 liters. That should be almost max. That's plenty. We'll leave it there for now. We have 61 liters of charcoal. I don't know how long it'll take. I don't know how much is going to be in a pallet either. I don't know if it's 500 or 1,000. Who knows? Uh, but if we go to the selling point... Somewhere down here at the bottom. Somewhere in this area. A packet of charcoal. Here we go. For every 1,000 liters, it we can sell it at the Sell Everything container, which is right next to us, for $1,150. And it fluctuates pretty severely. Right now is the best time. Uh, well, it's not the best time, I guess I should say, but 1,440 is the best in January and February. But we probably will sell a little bit of it today to make some money back, but... There's enough wood in there that it should be going for a couple of months at least. And uh, with the rest of the trees that we're going to chop down are only going to be chopped whenever we actually need to fill up the charcoal kiln or if we're desperate for money. So that's why I'm saying we have plenty of trees left. May not seem like it, but we do. We have plenty of trees left. 
20. Let's get this big guy right here. It should be about four or five thousand dollars. Let me get all this sold. I'll get one or two more of these sold. Hopefully we'll be at six, seven thousand dollars, something like that. That would be ideal if we can find a drill for, you know, two or three thousand. We'll buy it. And then hopefully we have enough to get uh, seed and fertilizer. And if not, we'll have to, you know, get another tree. Or maybe we'll be lucky and maybe we'll have a... Uh, have a skid of the charcoal ready to go. Just gonna pull this out a little bit and then we're gonna chop it. So, be back with you guys when all that's done. Alright, gang, we sold a little bit more. I also got uh, another one of these big American elm or trees uh, over here sitting, waiting to be put in. Uh, it's too large to go in right now, but uh, whenever we need room for it, we can certainly put that in there. Uh, we are making charcoal. It is relatively a slow process, is what it seems like. Uh, but the good thing is that it doesn't seem like it's taking up that much wood. So, uh, we should have su enough wood as current sufficiently to sustain making this charcoal. So, hopefully, when we move to the next day, which we're getting ready to do now, uh, we'll have at least a pallet of charcoal there waiting for us to sell. Now, uh, we have $9,878. I did take a look out here, uh, and I went on ModHub as well, and I found this one here, which we could buy this one outright right now, but the problem is it does not do fertilizer. For only $2,500 more, we can utilize one of the ones we always use. It just makes more sense to my MIIs. It saves us time. It, it's a better, it, it's wider width. It's a better drill. So we're going to have to go with one of the ones we always go with. Um, although I would like to do that one, it just makes more sense, I think, to do these. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and move to the next day. Because it's starting to get dark. I mean, it's not too dark. We still have a few more hours, but uh, I think we've done enough today to move on to the next one. We're still going to be in October. Alright, October day two. We have $416 loan interest, $37 vehicle maintenance, and a few other dollars here and there for maintenance. So, we do have some pallets of charcoal. Now, they are 1,100 liters. Am I able to pick these up? Uh, no. No, they're too heavy. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out something to utilize these as well. We don't have any way of moving these over here, and we need to, because that's going to give us some good money. So, we're going to have to figure out something for that today, too. Uh, looks like I still can't... Oh, nope, I did get the wood in there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 28,000 liters of wood in there still. Good deal, good deal. We're going to figure out some way to be able to pick those up, so we'll have to see what, what's out there for us to buy. Uh, nothing in the shop, unfortunately, for us. I would love to have something used to pick up there, but it uh, doesn't look like that's the case either. We're probably going to have to get one of the forks to use here. Um, and you saw how the issue were it was last time with the forks, but we'll have to give it a shot again. I probably should have returned this, but, uh, I mean, it doesn't cost us that much, and we're going to utilize it again, I'm sure, today. So let's drop that off there. Um, as far as the drills go, I think we'll just buy the John Deere to match what we have, right? I don't really care about the rib, so let's just do that. No license plate. Six grand. Perfect. And we're going to need some bags of fertilizer and seed. Uh, so let's buy the seed. And which one do we like? It really doesn't matter to me. Let's do the corn cali. These are $766, which is not a lot of money. But it is enough for now. We're going to uh, get more from the charcoal, right? We're going to do probably a, a contract of some sort today as well. I'm not sure what we'll do yet, but we're probably going to do a contract. We can also pick up... Um, one of the collectibles on the way here, because this is another day. Even though it's the same month, it's another day, because we're doing two days per month. Uh, and I believe, I don't think there's one there. At least not that I saw. But I believe there was one up here, and the other bus stop up here, if I remember correctly. Um, in the last episode, I'm pretty sure we saw that when we drove by. We know there's two for sure, way back there, uh, at that one selling point. We also know there's two way behind us.
Yep. Oh, that's a different one. Sheep? Okay, so there's multiple animals to find. So there's a lot of them out here, then. There, there's gotta be... Well, there's, there's two different animals, so I would assume there's three or four animals, right? So... There's gotta be a bunch out there. Who knows how many, though, to be sure, but, uh... There's a bunch. We have our, um... Our wagon is down here at the shop as well, so we need to... We need to get that back to our farm. We need to start working on our farm a little bit, make it look more like a yard. Uh, I don't want to spend a ton of money, but a little bit of money will certainly help go a long way there. I was just taking in the sights and I flew right past the shop. <laughs> I forgot to put the beacon on until just a second ago, too. But we got it on now. Alright, let's pick this up. We utilized this same thing in our gator challenge, so this should not be anything new for anybody who watched that challenge and is now watching this one. Pretty much the same process here is going to occur. But the only difference here is we are on seasons, right? So, uh, I don't know what uh, what we can plant right now. Uh, grass and oil seed. That's it. That is all we can plant right now. We are not allowed to plant anything else at current. Hmm... Well, that kind of goes against... I probably shouldn't even have done this, then. Well, shoot. Kind of wasn't really thinking about the seasons there. But that's alright. We needed this anyway. We own it now. We now have a drill. We don't have to worry about renting a drill. This, this drive back is going to be abysmal. <laughs> we are going to run into so many cars. I was just going to jump cut edit, but I think we might as well leave it here so we see who we run into. Which of the cars are we going to run into? Byron? Scarlet? Walter? Alfred, which I think I'm going to call the blue car Alfred. Karen. We haven't seen really Karen on this map yet. We haven't seen a yellow car yet. At least I haven't seen a yellow car. Surprisingly, it's quiet right now. There's no traffic. Weird. Okay, well, that's the first time on this map so far that we've... Well, I shouldn't say that. We still have a little bit of ways to go. But this is the first time so far on this map that uh, we have not encountered any traffic. And that was a miracle that we got all the way back here without doing that. I really expected to have all kinds of issues with the junt here, but we made it. Alright, so I got it back here. We're just going to kind of put it over here for now. We'll make a makeshift yard here. Let's go back and get our wagon as well, and I think we're going to, um... Well, we're going to try one of the pallet forks and see if we can make it work, or maybe a... Um... Maybe a wedge, something like that, so we can try to sell those those charcoal. We need to sell them uh, to make some money here. Or we're, uh, dead in the water, because we can't really... I mean, we could put, uh... Radish in, oil seed radish in, but... Not really going to make a whole lot of money off of that. Look at all the traffic now. Where was that all that a minute ago? What happened to the traffic? Why was there no traffic? Was there a glitch or something? Maybe there was a glitch. What happened to all the traffic? <laughs> all of a sudden now we've got traffic left and right. You can't stop seeing any traffic. That was weird. Very bizarre on that traffic. Like, ridiculously bizarre. I promise you I didn't do anything. I didn't change anything. I don't know. That was really weird. In any case, we got our wagon here. Um, I think the forks, if you watched my gator challenge, you saw the issues I had with the forks. Um, this hitch just doesn't go low enough for the forks. Literally, you're just pushing things. So I feel like it's almost better not to use those. And maybe we just utilize the winch as a pushing mechanism and push those into the cell point. I think that's what we're going to try, since we already have at least anyway. We might as well go ahead and utilize that to our advantage. Um, and, and go from there. Now, I think what we're going to have to do today, since we can't drill anything, I think we're going to have to uh, do some contracts and hopefully make some money. Uh, and then maybe that way we can buy some more of the stuff we're going to need, for, we're gonna need to utilize for the field, right? A fertilizer spreader. A roller. Even though I hate it. 
a drill. We're going to need that eventually. If, they, if we have to continue to plow the fields to keep the yield high, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to need that as well soon enough. That field over there looked pretty nice. That really skinny field there. I'll have to look into that one. A little early though, Z, to be thinking about buying another field, but I would like another field. That'd be nice. So I'm just kind of cutting across to our field here because we might as well, right? Um, we've started to slightly open up this area back here. You can kind of see it. There's less trees here in the corner, uh, but we still have to deal with uh, some of these trees we can't cut. Uh, they're going to be in the way, so we're going to need to get a mulcher. Uh, that mulcher should also help us get rid of all these stumps. But that's another expense, and a very expensive expense of that. Um, a skid steer is not cheap, and neither is a mulcher. So we're just going to leave that there for now. Let's try pushing them with this and see how it works. Hopefully it works. It may not be the most elegant way to uh, get these sold, but we're going to uh, we're going to give it a shot nonetheless. I think I'm going to go this way with them. It does work. But like I said, it's not going to be elegant. So don't expect uh, greatness here. This is going to be very... Very shady, I guess, is what I will say. <laughs> Not how you should be doing this. Probably destroying the charcoal bricks in there. They're little pieces. One thousand three hundred and eighty something. Three hundred ninety. Let's call it three ninety. Not bad. Not bad at all. One thousand three hundred ninety-one. That's pretty good, man. For how much wood still in there? How little wood we're going to put in there? Uh oh. What do you get over there? Thank you. We will get something eventually where we don't have to do this such a a in such a weird way. But for now, this is a a temporary, long-term fix. All right. So we've got 5,940 at current. What I'd like to do, I'm going to leave this here for now because we're going to utilize it again. That's why I haven't returned it. Like I said, we're going to put some more wood in here. We'll probably sell a few more trees as well just to make a little bit more money here up front because we're going to need it. But I want to look at um, fertilizer because if we can get a fertilizer for a decent price, uh, we can utilize that now. Uh, during a contract, because I believe there was a fertilizing contract. Quick save here. There is a fertilizing contract. It's a pretty large amount of fertilizing. 3.77 acres. Owner one field 165, which is... Where is 165? There's so many fields here. It's going to take me an eternity to find this. Hopefully it's near us, because these are all relatively bigger numbers. But that doesn't always mean it is. 165. Yeah, that's actually really close to us. That's really, really close. Let's go ahead and do it now. Let's go ahead and take it now before it, before we lose it. Uh, ooh, wait, we shouldn't. Because we might... Mm, we might need to borrow the tools if we can't find a fertilizer for a decent price here. I don't want anything crazy. Like, this would be ideal. As This is probably what I'll get. I've used this before. It's so dirt cheap. But I also have said I wanted to kind of maybe try to potentially utilize the gator stuff. Um, but I think... I think you could use this one on there. I really do. And it would take us seconds. And we could do... Any time a fertilization contract came up, we could do it with this. And be done in seconds. I mean, it would take us no time at all. Let's do it. All right, I'll head to the shop. I'll see you guys there. All right, we made it here. Let's uh, let's load this up here. We probably can get another bag of fertilizer. Honestly, we might want to if we're going to do that contract. Yeah, we're going to need to. So let's uh, let's go ahead and buy another bag here. 
we get to the right thing. Let's fill that up. Perfect. That thing holds a ton. It holds a ton. Let's do it. Accept contract. Uh, use your own equipment, lease equipment, reduced rate, fertilized field with any type of fertilizer. Good. I'm glad I'm glad that, that was they was said that it didn't say specific kind of fertilizer. We'd be screwed. Alright, active. So let's go there. We set we kind of saw where it was. It was up by our farm. So is the easiest way to take our track to get there? Oh, it's not this one. It's this bigger one. Okay. Uh, or should we go up here and down? Well, I don't think there's... Wow, you get to go way down here. I mean, it looks like you could cut this through the through woods here. You probably could, but you have to go way down there and come back around here just to get there. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do it. We haven't uh, been that way yet on the map. Let's take a look at the map. We saw, we've, we've seen two specific areas a lot, but we've never really been up here on this side of the map, so let's, uh, let's take a look at it. This fertilizer spreader is going to be great for that size of this, of that field too. This is going to, uh, we'll, we'll get it done pretty quickly because the, the width on this is unbelievable. Um, doing our field, it's literally going to be one pass. We don't have to make more than one pass. It'll be like a... 10 second job and we'll be done it's it's crazy it's almost unrealistic well actually it is unrealistic but it's there so we're going to utilize it Walter and Byron both passing me right there Oof. am I going the right way here yep left here it is so this is like the big city center area of the town, the main town area. Looks like a nice little restaurant to eat at right there. The uh, the telephone poles here are very unique. I don't know if you noticed or not. They've got big, massive, like squared holes in them. They're like cinder blocks. I don't know if that's how it really is. I'm assuming it is. But I've, I've never really seen that. I've never been to Poland, so I don't, I don't know. I think it's left here. I think this is right. Yep. Very, very curvy road here. This would be a fun road to have a, a sports car on. Oh, I think we're going to find another collectible. Nope. There's some uh, windmills out there in the distance. Uh, looks like we just keep going straight here. But you can see what I'm talking about here. I'm going to pull off to the side real quick. I'm going to show you. That's probably not the best one to look at, but if you if you look up top, see that? There are big massive holes in it. If somebody's ever been there and knows, let me know down below in the comments. Is that what it really looks like? Is that what they do? Why, why do they do that? Because ours aren't like that in America. Perhaps they're like that in most places. It's just America does it how we do it. Gonna keep going here. More more curvy roads, man. Need a sports car. Put the map on so I know where I'm going, so I don't have to keep hitting start and go to the big menu. Now that we're closer. Alright, so it's this field here. Alright, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, well, you can't, because this is the farthest I can zoom out with the gator, but it's... It's massive, the spread of this thing is humongous. Look at all that traffic I was holding up. 
I mean, the only way you're going to be able to see it is if I do it like this, but you really can't see it even doing it this way. It does eat through the fertilizer because it's such a wide width, but it doesn't take you as long to get it done either. Choose your battles, right? Choose your battles. Given the, that I bought this, perhaps I should have bought that other smaller drill, but it would also take us longer to do if we bought that drill, right? The fields themselves would take us longer. We're already 76% complete. Time to jump down the middle here. Let's see how we're doing. Perfect. It should say complete here any minute. Boom. Done. Still have a lot of fertilizer left in here, which is great. Now we can go ahead and head back to our farm, which I think we're going to take a bit of a shortcut here. We're going to come back here and, well, it's not even a shortcut. We're just going to take the little side road here. I think, I'm not positive, but I think this road itself here will take us back. Let's go ahead and go in first person view, huh? But I'm pretty sure this will take us back to our farm. So there are some farms, it looks like, that lead up to this track. So if we could get those, that would be nice. Ooh, just drilled something. I think the edge of the fertilizer hit something there on that one. I like that field a lot. That's a huge field, though, but I like it. I'd like to have that one. Yeah, we're coming up to the farm right now. Alright, so we can go ahead and drop this off. We'll just put it here for now. This is... We're just kind of making makeshift areas for the yard at this point. Alright. So that's done. I don't think there are any other contracts, but we can go ahead and turn that in. Uh, collect. Perfect. There are harvesting and plowing. I don't want to do any plowing, but I would put, I would consider harvesting. It's depending on what it is, excuse me. Uh, but likely not. And they're taking the product to where I'm at. Look at that. That's cool that they're using... I don't think I ever really... I mean, I guess I have, but I never really paid attention to it. Uh, okay. So the other thing left we can do today is more contracts and selling more wood. Um, how's our charcoal doing? Okay. We still have 27,000 liters of wood in there. Not bad. Uh, what is out here? Anything good for us? Nope. Okay. $3,538. We need a roller. Ideally, we get something else for the forestry as well, like if we get, like, the mulcher, right? But I think that's going to cost us too much. Um, we, we could sell some wood and figure out, you know, a way to get it. Uh, we would need some kind of, like, a skid steer would be ideal, right? Like, this little guy would be perfect. If we could even hook it up, and I don't think it'll allow us, but maybe it will. Let me see. It does allow it, but that's still $25,000, and, and that's going to be a lot of trees to get the $25,000 today, so I don't think we're going to get there. Actually, it's not even I don't think. I know we're not going to get there, so that's not going to work. We really don't have any room to mow. Huh. Well, this might be a shorter episode than I was expecting. Maybe I should have split the last one up even more. Hmm. 
Guess we'll have to harvest, right? Guess we're gonna have to harvest the field. Let me look. I know what we're gonna do, gang. It's gonna take us, uh, take us a little bit of, uh, of cutting some trees down, but, uh, I know what we're gonna do. So let me get some more trees cut, and let's make some money here. And then, uh, I'll be back with you once I have enough money. Alright, gang. I said I wanted to put a pond in over here, and that is what I've done. So I'm very excited about it. I think it looks great. It looks pretty realistic, in my opinion. Hopefully you like it as well. Uh, there is a tree stump there we'll have to grind out, but we can do that off camera whenever we finally get a mulcher or a stump grinder. Uh, I also cut down uh, a lot more of the trees over here. I think there's only maybe one or two left over here. Uh, so, you know, here in the very near future, we can expand this field like I wanted to do. Haven't brought them all over yet, but I will be doing that uh, off camera. But uh, I wanted to leave you with that. So we're going to leave that episode there, gang. A little bit of a shorter episode, but I said I was going to try to make episodes shorter if I, if I can. And, uh... That's what you got in this one. So hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you're new. It's free. Helps me a ton. Uh, subscribe to other channels. Links in the below, in the down below in the description. Uh, check the Discord out. All that good stuff. And uh, I guess until next time, I will see each and every single one of you in the next episode.